Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Witch's Chamber, everyone. Um, my name is Anya. For those of you guys that are new here, um, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm so happy that you're here. Um, yes, so um, I wanted to do a reading, okay, um, for you today. And I don't know why I'm speaking calmly, okay? Um, there's a calm energy, okay? There's a calm energy that wants to be known, okay? That wants to be acknowledged, all right? Um, I'm really picking up, I've been really picking up strongly the energy of contemplation, of reflection, okay? Um... I'm literally seeing you, okay? I am have an image of you standing there, standing there, sitting, um, reflecting, okay? I'm hearing the word reflect, reflecting on your past life, what you have accomplished in your life up until now, okay? When I say past life, I mean you have completed a major cycle in your life, okay? Um, that life is gone, okay? And you're stepping into the new okay you're at the edge okay you are in the process of reflection where you have been what you have accomplished um where you may have gone wrong in the past and it's like i feel like you're looking out into the horizon you're looking out ahead okay um there's a gateway, okay? There's a portal that has just been opened. I'm looking, I'm looking at the crystal ball. And what I'm seeing is in front of you, I'm seeing like um, waves, okay? Or turbulent waters. But it's like you're not looking at those waves anymore, okay? You're not looking at those waves anymore. You're looking past those waves, past those mountains, past those challenges, okay, and you're looking ahead into what is opening up, what is in front of you, okay, it's like I'm, I'm f picking up the feeling that you're looking into your future, okay, with renewed faith and optimism, all right, I also feel like there's something that will be revealed to you, okay? There's something that will be revealed to you very shortly, okay? Um, and I'm hearing from Spirit the red moon, okay? Um, red moon. So for some of you guys, this is some sort of a passion okay there's some sort of a passion that something that you're very passionate about okay that is about to be revealed to you okay nevertheless there's an energy of reflection about the past and looking forward to a hopeful future okay um but yes, something will be revealed to you very shortly. I feel like you have gone through a lot of a lot of growth recently, okay? I feel like you have grown quite a bit, okay? Um, it's like an ascension has taken place and you are seeing your future with renewed hope, renewed faith, and renewed optimism, okay? So anyhow, um, let's see. What I want to do today is basically um, a reading for you, okay? Um, about what it is that you're stepping into, okay? What you can look forward to. What clothes are you about to wear, okay? What role are you about to play? Okay, in your life. There's a lot of energy of calmness, okay? If you haven't been feeling calm, 
you're about to be be transferred into that energy or transmuted into that energy okay that's what i'm hearing um so anyhow i have two options for you guys to choose from the green green marker okay the green pen is going to be your choice number one and this pink pen okay it's going to be your choice number two okay so everyone make a choice some of you guys will be making a big choice in your life very soon okay that's what i'm hearing um, so go with your gut, go with whatever feels right for you, okay? And I hope that you guys are ready. Yes, yeah, so I hope you guys are ready. Um, I feel, I hope that you are ready, okay? Because I feel, um, if you have chosen this green, green pen, okay? There's something that you will be signing very soon, okay? Um, there's growth coming, there's more money coming in towards you, okay? Um, it's like you're gonna be standing, standing tall, I'm hearing, okay? There's something coming towards you that you're gonna be very proud of, okay? Anyhow, let's get your general energy. Okay, let's see what energy you are at. You're at. Okay. Um, now, so that you understand, I have not seen your cards previously. Okay. I have just shuffled and I've selected the cards for you to save time. Okay. Some of you guys will be saving time, I'm hearing. Okay. On something. But there's a safe of time. Time is saved. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Okay, let's get your general energy. So we have the quieting the mind. Okay, so I feel like to appear after a period of chaos, um, maybe period of overthinking um, a situation or your life. It's like you're going to calm down. Okay, you're going to calm down. A notch I'm hearing and you're gonna be able to quiet your mind finally okay for some of you guys there's a need for you to start yoga start meditating start doing yoga okay that's what will gonna help you to quiet the mind okay I feel like up until now you have been the energy of thinking too much, worrying about things, where things are going, where things are heading. How are you going to be able to accomplish whatever it is that you need to accomplish? Okay. Um, but nevertheless, your mind will become quiet. And you're going to gaze at your horizon, gaze at your future. And you're finally going to be able to see what you need to concentrate on. Okay? Because right up until now, I feel like you have been, your mind has been on a roller coaster. Okay? Number 32 may be of significant number five. So there's definitely a change coming. Okay? There's a change to how you think and what you think. Okay? Wow. All right. Let's see what else we need to know for you. Building blocks. Yeah. I've been picking up this energy of the building blocks. I feel it's like you are creating something. Okay. You are creating some sort of a security, some sort of a future for yourself. Okay. I feel like you're very practical. Okay. Or you're going to step into that energy of being very practical. I feel like for some of you guys, some of you guys are actually rebuilding yourself on some sort of a way, okay? Or in some sort of a way.
I feel some of you guys are living in a building, okay? Currently. Some of you guys are, may have been up until now wondering how are you gonna build? How are you gonna, how are, I'm hearing from spirit, how are you gonna survive? It's like you have been the energy of overthinking, okay? And I'm hearing from spirit, the situation is much more simpler than what you're giving it credit to, okay? Or credit for. So for some of you guys, some of you guys will be, you will be working on yourself, okay? It's like I'm seeing you concentrating on yourself. I feel like for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have been overstressed. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. But it's like now, with this portal, with this gate opening, you're going to be able to see a different version of yourself. Okay. But it's like, I feel like you're changing your life in some way. Okay. That gateway that's opening, you're looking out, out onto the horizon. You seeing a different version of yourself. You're being a different version of yourself. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's see. Let's see what, um, what you're stepping into when it comes to love. Okay. Let's see. Love. <laughs> For a lot of you guys, this is actually has to do with self-love, okay? I'm going to be honest with you. See, there's more of that yoga energy. Look at this image, quieting the mind. See, this individual is in a yoga pose. Look at this card here. This individual is in a, in a yoga pose, okay? So for a lot of you guys, whoever has selected this pile, Okay, it's for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys will be working or building on yourself. Okay, you're going to be concentrating on yourself, on your well-being, on your image, on your ascension, on your growth. It's like you're going to be investing in yourself in some sort of a way. Okay. But this is all about self-love. This is all about you loving yourself. So I feel for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys will be moving away from that chaotic, from that stressful energy. And you're going to be putting that energy onto yourself, on your personal growth, on who you are, and how you can serve the world, I'm hearing, okay? Wow. Let's see. Let's see what you're stepping into when it comes to your finances, to your money, to your career. Oh, meditate and clear. Look, 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 look. There's more of that meditative energy. This is all about yoga, about being in meditation. Okay. And we have a triple confirmation. It's like you need to clear your mind. Okay. That's what you're going to be doing. We have quieting the mind here. And we have clearing the mind. Okay? So what I'm hearing from spirit when it comes to your finances, to your money. If you want more money. Okay? If you want more success. Okay? You need to quiet your mind. Okay, you need to quiet your mind. You need to sit down with yourself and decide what it is exactly that you want. Okay, because I feel like up until now your mind has been in chaos. Okay, some of you guys are looking for a clarity pertaining to your finances, to your career, to your money. In order to gain that clarity, you need to quiet your mind. Okay. Clear your mind from all the other aspect of your life. Okay? That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Okay? You need to quiet your mind. 
and only concentrate on your finances or your career. I feel like like you're about to be you're about to hear or be given a message from spirit pertaining to your finances. But first you need to quiet your mind. You need to be able to hear what it is that spirit wants to tell you. Okay? Do not, I'm hearing from spirit, do not make any harsh decisions when it comes to your money, okay, or your career. For some of you guys, I'm hearing, okay, that you can make money, okay, has something to do with meditation, with yoga, okay? That's how some of you guys, not all of you, that's how some of you guys will may be making money, okay? Maybe by hosting meditation classes, by hosting yoga classes. I don't know, but that's what I just heard, okay? Wow. Let's get your message from spirit. You might be a Capricorn, okay? Some of you guys need to take a reality check, okay? Some of you guys are not living in a realistic reality. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Some of you guys need to be more realistic. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Maybe you're in the energy of daydreaming, okay? Daydreaming too much and not doing any action, okay? But you need to distinguish between falsity and reality. Because I'm picking up the energy that's for some of you guys. Some of you guys are in the energy of thinking that um, something is real, but in reality is actually an illusion, okay? So you need to be able to distinguish which thought of yours is real and which thought of yours is false, okay? You need to be more realistic with yourself, okay? Gonna move this down a little bit so you guys can see the cards, okay? All right, let's see what else you need to know. Okay, so let's read this, okay? When I introduce joy to a situation. I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. Okay. So, some of you guys. So, for some of you guys will be entering um, or stepping into more joy. Okay. It's like you're going to be stepping into a new vibrational frequency. It's like you're going to step out of the chaos to towards joy. It's like you're going to be operating at a new frequency. Okay. And I feel other people will be noticing this change around you. Okay. And I'm also hearing from spirit by you introducing yoga into your life by introducing meditation into your life. That's going to bring you more joy, okay? That's what you're stepping into. But first, you have to take action, okay? Stop the negative thinking, okay? Do not overthink a situation. Try doing meditation, try doing yoga. Try to focus on, on yourself. Give more to yourself, okay?
But I feel for majority of you guys here who have selected this pile, it's like you're going to be focusing on yourself. You're going to be pouring love and joy into yourself. That's what you're stepping into. You're moving away from the negative thinking, from the chaos. Okay? Into a more calm and peaceful energetic frequency. Okay? Wow. All right, everyone. So this was your reading. Um, and now I'm going to continue with pile number two. All right, everyone. So for those of you guys who have selected this second marker, this pink marker. Um, first of all, I want to say that. Um, why do I send there's love coming in? I'm really being drawn to the color pink. So you might like the pink color. Um, but there's, this is a more joyful energy compared to the previous pile. Um, I feel like this love that's coming in, it's more outerworldly, I'm hearing. Okay. It has more to do with, not so much with you, but with other people. Okay, there's happiness. Um, you're in your female, in your authentic um, high priestess um, slash empress energy, okay? You're in, in your divine feminine energy or will be, okay? Anyhow, let's get your general vibe, okay? Let's see what's happening for you. Ears wide open. Oh, you need to have your ears wide open. There's something that you're about to hear, okay? Something of a, that's going to be of a great significance or great importance to you, okay? So have your ears, ears wide open. Number 33, maybe you'll see. Oh my goodness, number three again, okay? I've been picking up this energy of, of number three, you know, in the last, in the last few readings, okay? So I feel number three is of a great significance to you in particular, okay? You may have, you may be seeing a lot of repeated number synchronicities, okay? But there's, nevertheless, there's something that you're about to hear, okay? It's an energy of sneaky, that's going to sneak up on you in some sort of a way I'm hearing, okay? It's like you're going to be hearing something and seeing something re being reflected back to you in some sort of a way. That's what I'm hearing, okay? For some of you guys, some of you guys, it's like you're going to be seeing something, okay, as well. And you, it's going to make your eyes wide open. That's what I'm hearing, okay? It's not only ears, it's eyes as well. I'm being really being drawn to this fox's um, eyes, okay? It's like you're going to be seeing something. It's like your eyes are going to wide op be wide open. But there's some sort of a communication, some information coming towards you that's going to be very of a major, major importance to you, okay? Let's see what else you need to know blessed Ooh. there's some sort of a blessing that's coming towards you okay look we have more that repeated numbers we have number 33 we have number 22 and there's more of that pinkish energy i'm telling you you're in your divine feminine energy right now okay or will be there's some sort of a blessing coming towards you and you need to have your ears open your ears and your eyes open there's some sort of a truth, some sort of a clarity that's going, that's coming towards you, okay? But what you're stepping into, it's some sort of a blessing. Okay? Wow. Let's see what you can expect to happen in your love life, okay? Inner peace.
Wow. There's something that's going to bring you peace. Some sort of a news that's coming towards you that's going to bring you peace of some sort. You know what I'm getting with this card? Some of you guys, some of you guys are going to be concentrating on um, doing humanitarian work, I'm hearing, okay? And I'm being drawn to the words you are enough. So it's like you're gonna realize that you are that you're enough. Okay. You're gonna come into peace with something within yourself, I'm hearing, okay? Some of you guys who I'm hearing from spirit, some of you guys will start to journal, okay? Or start keeping a journal. For others of you guys, I'm, I'm hearing that you're going to start to do some sort of affirmations, writing some sort of affirmations. For others of you guys, I'm hearing that you're going to hear some sort of a news, okay, pertaining to your work. I'm hearing to your work, to your happiness. That's going to bring you inner peace, okay? It's like you're going to come to peace. Are you going to feel at peace with something that has happened at your work? Okay. I'm hearing from spirit, you're going to come to peace or you're going to become at terms with something um, that you thought was out of your league, out of your comfort zone, something like that. It's like you're going to come to peace with it okay S others of you guys i'm hearing that you're gonna be receiving some sort of an enlightenment that's gonna bring you peace okay now if you're unemployed if you're out of work you're not gonna be out of work anymore Okay. There's a job offer that I'm here. I'm hearing that's coming. Okay. But nevertheless, you're gonna do something that's gonna be bringing you a lot of pieces. Like you're gonna be, you're not gonna be thirsty anymore. Figuratively speaking, you're not gonna be thirsty anymore. You're not gonna be hungry anymore. You are not going to run out of money anymore. There's something that's going to happen that's going to bring you peace and comfort. And you're actually going to realize that you're extremely blessed. Okay? Wow. Let's see what you need to know. What is what you're stepping into pertaining to your money and your, to your career. Oh, see, you need to relax. And that's more of that peace energy. Spirit is asking you to relax and be in the flow. Okay. Things are coming for you. Okay. You're about to be extremely blessed. Okay. It's like relax. Okay. Do not try to control the situation. There's some sort of a news that's coming coming in okay the spirit is asking you to be in the flow i also feel for some of you guys there will be a f steady flow of money that will be coming in okay that's also what i'm hearing wow but you need to relax Okay, do not try to control the situation or the outcome. Okay, let's see what information we're going to get for you from the Moonology card. Whoa, so you might be a Virgo. Okay. There's something, 
okay there's something that's going to come towards you okay where it's where literally you're going to be asked to take an inspired action okay there's an, some sort of inspiration coming as well okay that's going to allow you to take action some sort of an epiphany that's coming towards you that's going to allow you to take action of some sort okay I said some of you guys may be writers. I'm really picking that up, okay? Some of you guys may decide to take up writing, okay? Writing that's going to be very inspiring to other people, I'm hearing, okay? But nevertheless, do not try to control the situation. Be and stay in the flow. Let's see what information this uh, universe has for you. Wow. Have more of that sun energy. Sun energy. Um, that we saw in the previous reading. I'm picking up the sun energy with this card. The sun energy. Some of you guys will be seeing a light. Okay. It's like you will choose to see the light. Or choose to see the positive side in the dark corners. Okay. It's like spirit is telling you once you choose to see the light. Okay. In uncomfortable places, in uncomfortable situations, in the dark corners, you will be redirect. You will be redirecting your power towards what it is that you want. Okay. But something there's some sort of an enlightenment. Okay. I'm being drawn to the halo around her head here, and I'm being drawn to the sun and the word light. There's some sort of an epiphany, a clarity that's coming towards you, okay? It's like a blessing in disguise, okay? I feel like you need to look at your life from a different angle. Or you'll be looking at your life from a different angle. That's going to bring you clarity. And that's what, what you're going to realize, that, that this is your power, that this is a blessing in the sky, okay? Because you, you're going to decide to see the positive side of every situation, okay? And that light, that, that's, that clarity, okay, it's actually what's going to happen, is, is going to redirect your power toward what it is that you want. You're going to realize, you're going to understand that you are, you are you are in power you are in charge of your own life you know and that's actually going to help you to get what it is that you want okay wow so anyhow collective this was your reading and i just want to say like a little summary um pertaining to the first pile on your pile, I feel I'm actually very surprised, okay? I'm going to be honest. I am very surprised that um, that I didn't see, um, you know, any external love, okay? It's all about you. The love is all about you. The energy is all about you. Wow. All right, everyone. So um, this was your reading. Um, I'm wishing you guys peace, love, and abundance. Um, all the best. Okay. Health and wealth. And I'm going to talk to you guys very soon. 
Thank you so much. Bye.